Hey guys, in this video I'll be going over the solution to Lasers Everywhere from Code Chef's March Long Challenge 2020. So in this problem, we are given an array, which represents the heights of several points from left to right. And we connect these points with segments. We are also given queries. Each query is described by triple L, R, and Y. And Basically, we draw a horizontal line starting the, with height y, and each query asks for the number of segments which intersect the line, uh, given that the segments need to be formed from the points in the range L to R. For example, in this query, we draw a line at height 8, and we consider the points uh, from 1 to 4. And there are three segments between these points. Of those three segments, two of them intersect with the line. So the answer for this query is two. For this query, we draw a line at height three and we consider the points from one to five. And we find that there are three segments which intersect with the line. So the answer for this query is three. And for our third query, we will draw a line at height 2 and we'll consider, so consider the points from 0 to 4. And of, these, of the segments between these points, three of them intersect with the line, so the answer is 3. In order to solve this problem, we will use sweep line and we will answer the queries in increasing order by y. So the algorithm will do something like this. And while we sweep from bottom to top, we will maintain an array V. The, uh, each element in V represents the value of a segment. At the start, all values of the segments are zero. When the line first touches the segment, the value becomes one. And while the line is still touching the segment, the value will still be one. But once the line goes over the segment, the value will become zero. And we do this for all the segments in the array. So how do we use this to solve the problem? We can notice that the answer for a query is just the sum of a range on the array v. For our qu first query, we add up the values of the segments between the points 0 to 4. And the sum is 3, so the answer is 3. For the second query, we add up the values of the segments in the range, and we get, a, get an answer of 3. And finally, for the last query, we add up the values of the segment segments in the range, and we get an answer of 2. So, yeah. And in order to perform this algorithm efficiently, we need to update and query the array v efficiently. And we can use a binary index tree or a segment tree to store v. If you aren't familiar with them, I'll include links to them in the description. And now I will explain my code. Okay, so here's my code for my solution to this problem. At the top, I have uh, these two functions. These are for the binary index tree to store the array v. So update basically um, adds, uh, it adds x to the ith element of the array and query basically queries the sum of a prefix of the array. Then I have a structure which I which is an which I call event, and this uh, event will be used later in the sweep line algorithm. So each event is described by a y coordinate and the type of the event and some additional information about the event. So um, 
I'll talk more about the type of the event, the events later. So for now, uh, we process the events. We'll process the events in increasing order of y, and then if two events have the same y, then we'll uh, tie break the events by their type. So now this is the main function, and the first thing is the input. And then here's where I create the events for the segments. So the first type of event is when the line starts to intersect with the segment, and it occurs when uh, it starts at the y coordinate, which uh, is the minimum of the two points which form the segment. And then this um, event is type 1. And then I store the index of the segment. And then there's also the event where the line uh, goes over the segment. And then that happens when the line reaches the maximum of the two points. And this event is uh, this event has type 3. And then lastly, we create the events for the queries. So each the query, the uh, y coordinates for the queries are just are just from the input, and then the type for these events is two. And then I store the index of the query, and I process the events in increasing order of time, and then by in increasing order of y coordinate, and then by the type of the event. So if the event is uh, type 1, then that means that a new segment uh, is just has just intersected with the line. So in our array v, we add 1 to the index of the segment. And then if the type is 2, that means we need to answer a query. So we set the answer of the query to the range sum from uh, the right bound from the left bound to the right bound. And then that's basically just the difference of two prefix sums. Then lastly, we have uh, the event of type three. And for this, we for this event, we want to set the uh, the value of a segment to zero. So previously it was one, and now we subtract it by one to make it become zero. And then after the all the events are processed, we just output the answer. And this is basically it for the code. If this video was helpful for you, then feel free to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, then feel free to ask them in the comment section below so that I'll be, I'll be able to help you. And thanks for watching.